guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and I have a Timu haul for you, number three. Now, um, just as a reminder, everything is in the description box below, including links to all the products that I'm gonna be showing you today. Um, this is a business and like an Amazon type store. You go online, they do have an app. If you use the app, um, you get other discounts and coupons and things. It's iced latte. I'm fancy like that. Okay, guys, this one is a fun one. I got a bunch of outdoor stuff. This is hysterical. I'm not gonna lie. I thought, I just thought it was something different than it was and I should have measured. It's a stool. That's a tiny stool. I mean, I'm not saying it's not usable, but it's just a little one. I thought like footrest or something, but it's okay. It has a little basket over here. You can hold a phone or something. I think if you had a little kid and you're out of picnicking or camping or fishing, this would be perfect. I am a little too old to be sitting on something this little, but it's not a bad product. It's just small. The other thing is that I like about it, it comes in its own little pouch. And I like that. Perfect. Um, here I am going to insert a quick video. I purchased a rug. I love the rug. It actually fits in the back of my car and I'm using it to protect my back seats I have them laid down so when I put my bicycle in the car it doesn't mess up my car so look here this is a lovely rug it's so soft I thought it was outdoor indoor but I don't think it is just got to get the wrinkles out okay we're back now the next thing I got is a dry sack I want to go kayaking this summer. So I grabbed this kayak or this dry sack because when you're out on the river or lake, uh, mine is a, dry, is a flat water kayak. But when you're out doing that type of activity, it's a high, rec a high probability that you may tip over or you're going to splash. Water is going to get in the kayak with you i'm trying to hook on these backpack things and so ideally you have a what's called a dry sack and that's exactly what it is you put a bunch of stuff in it and you roll down the top i will show you in a second and it keeps all of your products or anything you put in there usually my phone my wallet id anything i'll pack a lunch sometimes if i'm going to be out for a while i put it all in this dry sack so it is covered in rubber you open the top right you open it up this is a big one it's a 15 liter i believe but also i can put my towel down in here so you put everything you want down inside and then you roll this right and you have snaps And that keeps it rolled down. The water cannot get in. It's airtight. Okay, it's not quite airtight, but it's definitely watertight. And this one happened to come with backpack straps. So when I'm carrying it down to the kayak, I can just carry it on my back. When I need something, you just unsnap. And you can suck all the air out once you put everything in there. Like you can roll it like that, you push it get all your air out you want to do your snap but that's that's the motion that keeps the water out if it falls in it's it's not going to take on water um, you have a handle here to carry it but it also has these adjustable straps which I think is pretty fantastic and this would literally hold everything I need to get have access to and I can also hook this to like um, the, sp the bungee cords on the back of my kayak so it can just sit there it can go down between my feet or it can go behind my seat but I have access at any point to the things that I need so I grabbed that because I I want to get out of my kayak sorry my eye 
if the weather would just cooperate around here. Today, it's a rainy day. So I got that for kayaking. I picked up this little ditty here. This is a cook system. Now, typically you're gonna see this in backpacking, camping maybe, but for me, I actually do backpack and camp, so I thought it was perfect for me. And I want to try cycle packing, where you put all your stuff on your bicycle. So obviously this comes in its own bag. And it looks, well, I guess I should put everything back in it. This is how it stores, right? In its little bag. You take the top off. This comes out and this is a pot, a small pot. The bottom one is a larger pot, same thing. And these handles keep them from getting too hot over the flame. And then even on the inside here, there's measurements. So if you're making backpacker meals or you wanna boil water, I use it for coffee. If I wanna boil water, it's in there. Now, it also comes with a metal cup. I'm not a, I'm not a fan of the metal cups for drinking hot because you'll burn your mouth. Now, sometimes you can get a mouth guard that can slide on these cups, which is fine, but I have a plastic cup that I use. But you get a metal cup, you get fold up silverware. So I won't open them all, but it's a fork, knife, and spoon set, right? And then it I mean, you put it up, I don't know how you do it. I guess you, oh, and then this would snap over the front to hold it in place, right? So it doesn't unsnap. And then you can fold it down and it all stores. So you get a fork, knife, and a spoon. And they all store in this little canvas bag with a zipper. I, I would bring it maybe, questionable. Now, if you've ever seen the little tiny fuel cans, Alex, buddy. Does anybody need a cat? Alex. Hold on one second. Okay. Um, you get the little fuel cans in the camping section or at like backpacking stores. It's like a butane. This was cool and I was happy it came with it. You can sit the fuel on here and it helps stabilize it. So you sit your fuel can here. And then this is the meat of the whole thing. This is the whole reason I wanted it. It's a stove. So you screw this on top. You open this up, right? And so that holds your pan. But these things even come out for more stabilization. These little, these little metal legs come out to hold your pan or your larger pan. That's why you want it to be very stable. And this one even came with a spark. So once you put it on the fuel can, you turn it on, you'll hear it, you hit the spark or light lighter and it'll shoot up. And these are super fast. They're called pocket rockets for a reason. They are super fast. They'll boil water in like a minute, two minutes, depending how much water you're doing. And then you can just unscrew it. You let it cool off for a little bit. You unscrew it. It goes back into its little case or not, depending how you're carrying your goods. And now you have an entire cook system, you know, that can fit up in here. If you wanted to bring the mug, you could. Like I said, I have a different mug. And then this all goes back into its bag and you throw it in your backpack. I know, fun, right? So I have a little cook, a little, um, the, the burner that sits on top of the fuel, but it's old and I think this, the seals were broken and it's leaking. And so I was like, well, I might as well replace it. Because for me, if I go out camping, if I go out kayaking, if I go out somewhere, I mean, it's just as handy to have that to um, make coffee or hot tea or oatmeal or any kind of backpacking meals or camping meals. If I'm on the run and I'm out and about 
you know, that's, it works for me. These are for my patio. This is a two pack. And what they are is solar, and I might put them out front actually. They're solar torches. So they light up, you have to get them charged. And there's an on off switch here. And they are pretty tall. You put them together like this. Let me see how many do I have. So they're not terribly tall, but they're definitely taller than the ones you get at the Dollar Tree. And then you stick them in your soil, you let them charge up, and then once they're charged, you can turn them on and they will glow for the night depending on the charge that they received during the day. So right now it's kind of overcast, so I'm not anticipating that they're gonna get too much of a charge on them. But you get a two pack, and I love that they're solar, right? Fun, huh? Just call me a Viking. You could stick them together and make like a flame baton. <laughs> but I got these for out front, I think. It's always nice to have a lighted walk. Um, it doesn't, it doesn't, I mean, I guess it does click. Yeah, it does, to turn them on and off. But I have to get them charged up for that. So I wrapped those for outside, because I just thought, how fun is that? Let's move that out of the way, the box. And then we just have a couple more things in here. I grabbed some, oh, for my kayak. Also, so the law in Ohio says that I have to have a life jacket on board. I don't have to be wearing a life jacket, but I have to have one on board. So I grabbed this, so I couldn't find my other one. It's like what you would get on an airplane, then you would blow it up like that um, in any kind of a situation and so I have a life jacket but when I don't need it blown up then I can leave it folded up and stored in this little mesh bag when I do need it like if I'm out on my boat I just have to have it open and available to me I may have to inflate it before I take off on my boat we'll see I need to get it registered kayaks are boats in the state I don't know about your state so it has to be in there but kayaking is like all about lightweight is like bicycling so this doesn't take up a lot of space and if the watercraft pull me over and say where's your life jacket I have one so I grabbed that um, for my plants, I got a few things, and I think this is it. Nope, not it. Now it's it. Okay. Okay, we got some three things here. I grabbed a pack of these brackets for my plants. Um, you just stick these in the soil, and then you can hook things like this or twist ties just to keep the plants secure. So they vine up and I have a couple of vining plants. Um, I don't know how long these will stay in the wet soil, but we'll find that out when I go about my business. But you get three per package and I have two packages. So I should be good for this summer. And then next summer, a lot of my plants are gonna require um, some repotting. So these are called Yebrong Plant Brackets. And you can also just weave the them up through the, and they come in all different shapes and designs. You can have half moon, rectangle, a tall skinny, or like a honeycomb. So I grabbed two packs of those. These are for that, or if I get some bamboo spikes, you just, hook these through the plant and then this would go like through the spike and hold on so if I just have bamboo spike that goes around the spike that goes around the plant and it can rise and lower so the plant can freely move I can also hook two vines together in here 
And I thought these were great. They're not overly aggressive as far as squeezing the plant because you don't want to tie things too tight. So I just grabbed these. thought they were fun to try. I have some unruly plants. Um, let's see what's in here. Oh, we got some more fun earrings and then some charms that are both probably the same, if I had to guess. But these are a set of earrings in pots. They're monsteras as well in the little pot. And they're just dangly, hoop, dangly earrings. I love these. So we got more earrings. And then these are a pack of charms. I'll just show you a few because I think you get like 50 or 100 in here. But they're all different and they're just, just little charms, different um, succulents. This says crazy plant lady. And they're all succulents or cacti. I mean, look at that. They're just fun. Little charms and I thought I could make some um, uh, floss bling or necklaces or bracelets or whatever out of these. But you get a lot in here. And these are all cacti and succulents. Let's see if I can find one. Oh, this one says cactus. And it's the little brown cactus. So that is everything I got in this haul. Um, I will insert the video of the rug or you've already seen the inserted video of the rug. Um, like I said, I picked up a few more expensive things just because I thought, let's see what else they have to share. Um, but that is everything. I hope you enjoy and I will talk with you later.